name's Christy Anger, and today I'm going to be answering a, a question from a viewer about how do you export notes from your Remarkable to, to email and what the interface looks like. But also I'll be taking it a step further and thinking about how you can, once you have your notes outside and sent it somewhere, how you can manage it. Um, and then also I'll be going back the other way and how you import things so that you can actually write to your Remarkable to a bit more value by providing you a special integration that will actually make your life a lot easier. Um, and that integration is something called Microsoft Teams. Um, th the idea that I got from this was uh, I was trying to hook it up to OneNote and I'm, I'm almost there. But I think for this, this is very much easier. In Microsoft Teams, it allows you to create um, a special channel and that each channel has an e a unique email. And if you send your notes to, from your Remarkable to, to this unique email in Microsoft Teams, it will appear. But the beauty is, is that you'll be able to search the content of that. So any text that you have in the email will be searchable once indexed by the Microsoft, Team, Microsoft Teams platform. So that will help you figure out where you've put all your Remarkable 2 content in the future really easily because it will be on Microsoft Teams. And the beauty of Microsoft Teams is it's free. You don't actually have to pay for it unless you go for the enterprise version, which I don't think you, you guys will unless you're a big company. And um, the other second thing that I'll show you is the, the reverse way where you want to import something. So for example, if you're going to be reading um, material on your web browser and you go, oh, I wish I had it on my Remarkable so that I can actually um, mark, mark it up, you know, highlight, put notes on it. There's actually a Chrome extension where you can read, send to, to Remarkable. Um, so I'll show you that functionality and that will give you the export and import. So this video will be quite concise. Um, stick with me because I haven't got the gear where I want to do picture in picture at the moment. So I'll be I'm swapping from and to um, the, the Remarkable and the computer screen. Um, without further ado, let's get stuck in. Right, what we have here is a, a document that I have actually sent from the Chrome browser to my uh, Remarkable 2. And what I wanted to show you is, you know, if you want to be able to send your notes from here back to your email, then it's very possible. So I'm going to go and uh, go for with the, the fine line there. I'm going to go, um, let's have a look. Connected display, check another, okay. Which device? Okay, sorry, put that away. And then we're going to go and put some marker highlighting, sorry. So I'm just demonstrating actually that it's all changing real time and then the end okay uh, choose a format what format okay so let's go and show you where this button is so if you okay to um, send an email you will go and click this aeroplane button here and then hopefully you will be able to see Recently used emails at the top and then send to add your email address and then the message, file name, and what export format you want to do. It's PDF, PNG, SVG. I think you can guys have a quick look on, on the web as to what, what you want, but generally I'm just going to go with it and do PDF. Now, this small export tells you what pages you want and so I'm just going to select both of them see that you can select select confirm I'm going to add a message now with this message it, it's very it's not in easy to use this keyboard but I'm going to say sent from my Remarkable two. That wasn't too bad, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to enter that. Confirm. 
and that means it's ready to send. So I'm going to add an email address here. Okay, so I'm going to go and add an email address, and for this purposes of this um, review, I'm just going to use this example one. Okay, and then we're going to hit send, and in real time I'll show you it end up in my inbox. Okay, so there's my message, and I'm going to hit the send button at the top. But before that happens, I'm just going to go and show you the computer screen. So this is a an Outlook email, and, and what's happening is I'm doing some jiggery pokery to get that that email to be redirected to this. Um, so I'm going to hit the send button right now. Here you go, send, go. And at the bottom, it should say file sent. Do you see that? Okay, so let's just watch this happen. Okay, something's come in. There it is. Document from Remarkable. You can see. So if we open it up, it should have all of my markup when it does. Look. Which device? Yeah, very nice. There's the highlighting bit. What do, what format? Okay, so that's very basic, isn't it? It's very good. Okay, so you saw the, the regular send to an email. Now this is the, the cool part where actually you get to see it integrate with Microsoft Teams and get into a channel. So hold on to your seatbelts and let's go for it. Set it up. And up here is something called the Remarkable Channel. Okay, and there's a general channel. But what you can do is if you go to um, click here and get email address what that will do is it will pop up the email channel address so if we go to um, the post section I've just done a few already um, as you can see note that this last time was 2038 that I posted something okay so let's go and post something from the remarkable to this channel okay Okay, so if you can see at the bottom, there's the time, which is the 22.36. Um, let me just do that. Can you see that? Okay, 22.37 now. Right, I've got my... Oops, there you go. I've got my uh, Remarkable 2 there send to Microsoft Teams and let's do this okay I'm gonna send it sent file sent bottom and let's just see something happened there you go can you see that 2237 so you can view original email Okay, let's not do that. Um, as you, so if you now type, because it's actually already got into the system and indexed, if I search for something about um, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams, okay, so in this um, this channel, I've already got a few posts and. If I type in words, installing, let's have a look. I mean, yeah, so in that channel, there were um, two messages that had word installing. But if you remember, I had in my email that I sent just now, send to Microsoft team. All right, and look, three minutes ago, obviously. So there it is. I mean, how cool is that to be able to actually 
search on messages from your remarkable i mean equally this is equally um true of an um, an email program like outlook but this allows more richer um collaboration and also searching of your information so i hope you enjoyed that next up i'm going to show you how to send um web documents back to your remarkable 2 using the chrome extension so take it away okay on the um, right hand side is uh, something called the read on remarkable chrome extension now i just googled read on remarkable extension um and i just set it up obviously you're gonna have to log in what what happens is it will ask you to log into your remarkable account and get a one-time code passcode which you will have to go and go through the steps to do that once it's set up then you can have this um, made visible and pinned up on your browser as you can see up here at the top right and if you go to remarkable 2's website you get the nice remarkable oh look batch 12 ending in anyway okay so now we're at the home page of the remarkable 2 so what if we wanted to get the specifications of this and have a look on our remarkable okay, so let's go to specifications okay so look at that, all that great information we all know and love this um, right if I hit this extension and quickly move over to my remarkable in real time it's going to convert it and watch that there it is so if we go to it click on it look at that you can see it in the background the heading is technical specifications let's go through here see how much it does has done god there's a lot of stuff here do you know what i just realized it's this this web page is 14 pages fine okay so what i will do is if we go to that um sorry go to page a b technical specifications is at the bottom so actually let's just do that again see technical specifications there you go. Yep, size, weight. <laughs> That's interesting though. Whilst this is, you know, pretty good, it's it's lost the left hand. Actually, I'll have to look at the HTML, but the point is, it has lost the size and weight components and processor. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, for the most part, it's a really useful utility to be able to use because you want to be able to get documents over to your remarkable so that you can mark up and use, you know, put your thoughts in there. That's that's the whole point of remar remarkable. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll get back to you on another feature review. Hey, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And look at my channel for more exclusive videos.